You guys ready for some druid? That's right, Hearthstone. Let's make this happen. Right now we're only rank 19. We're not really doing too well yet, but we're going to keep pushing. We're going to make this happen. It's going to be great. We're against Alex P today. And this is actually an okay hand. I got two drop, two three drops, and a removal spell. I can deal with that. I'm going up against priests, so it's giving me some kind of control list. Maybe dragon priest. Uh, oh, interesting. Using the prince, huh? I need to run a list that runs that guy. I kind of like him. I might make a fun deck that does him one day. Uh, I was thinking about actually re recording, watching a friend of mine play, but then it would kind of ruin the integrity of what I'm doing. Because one of my friends is currently ranked 12, because he actually pushes. Ah, Cthulhu Priest versus Cthulhu Druid. That should be interesting. All right, so how do we beat the op the opposition? Well, I can use this to do two damage, and then that to do the other two damage by coining. This is why you save your coin cause for interesting plays like this that you wouldn't be able to do normally. So let's do that. This way. There you go. That was a very productive turn. Embrace the void. That's not so good. I mean, I can kill it, but... Eh. Let's do that three damage. Got five mana. Ugh, there's really no good play here. Can't kill him, unfortunately. What I can do, though, play that. Continue to be aggressive. Gain some armor. So when he does cast his Cthulhu, I'll at least have some armor, potentially. Yeah, he's got that good removal. And of course he's going to heal him. And give him more in the rear. Why not? <laughs> That's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie, guys. Kind of annoying. But, that's part of the game. Oh, that's not good. 
Maybe I should do a Cthulhu Priest. I mean, I have most of the cards, I think. Yeah, I don't have to dig into that. Or maybe like a Cthulhu Warrior, if Warrior has those kind of cards. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Since they completely killed my Worgen combo, I think I'm going to actually do Cthulhu Warrior. That's something I'm going to put in the banking. Alright, so unfortunately... I have to do this. Do that two damage. Throw down another one of these guys. Um, thinking about saving my four two for later. Yeah. We get more divine shielding. Uh oh, is that Holy Nova coming? Of course it is. Did I call it or what? It's like I've played Priest before. That's going to be annoying real quick. Oh, that was a decent top deck. I need to kill that anyway. Um... I'll just keep his little 1-1 one -one spawns at bay for now. I do have an answer for that 1-1 one -one guy, but I just haven't drawn him. Man takes damage, summon a 2 2 Gnoll with taunt. Oh wow. That's rather inconvenient. <laughs> Continue to keep the 1 1s at bay. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's the idea, guys. Once um, I'm done with this, I'm probably gonna put a Warrior Cthulhu list together, so I can at least play Warrior again, and um, pretty much go from there. I like that, cause I'm pretty sure that there are cards that go with it. I think there's a guy that um, if Cthulhu is so much has so much power, um, you gain more armor. So that's something to consider. I guess we'll put this guy down now for that value we were talking about earlier. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and just beat that guy down. Uh, we'll draw a card because we can. Alex P144, I, I think he's going to beat me, to be honest, guys. I think he's got the control matchup. Like, Priest just has so many good control cards that it's just hard to win. Wow, he actually sacrificed the 1-1. One -one. Huh. Didn't see that coming. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, why the heck not? Might as well play that guy. It looks like uh, the prince gave him a bad legendary. <laughs> well, it's not really bad, it's just bad in this deck. Oh, thank you for the boost. Oh, that's another Cthulhu kind of card. I may or may not have that guy, I'm not sure. 
Either way. Um, that needs to die. Let's do that. I'm not in a hurry to kill this other guy. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> The 2 4 is going to give me a chance to draw more or uh, gain more Cthulhu power. I'm not going to be in a hurry to kill it myself. <laughs> that would just be stupid, right? Oh, speaking of Cthulhu. Hmm. Uh, I don't necessarily need to rush him out right now. I think right now I should just work on dealing with as much damage as I can. Try to get them low so that my Cthulhu can eventually win. Yay, thanks for the boost. Uh, we'll beat that guy down. Why not? Um... Oops, I broke a diamond! Oops, I broke a diamond. Yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna kind of be aggressive here. Just throw down some big guns. I feel like I've done nothing. <laughs> I really do. Still at 27. Got these three big or two big guys, and I'm just like, eh, poke. <laughs> Let me change your mind. Oh, okay. Is There's a little bit of controlling there, are you? Uh, I guess you're trying to force me to play Cthulhu, right? Was that is that the idea? Well, well, let's see if it worked. Uh, no, it hasn't quite worked yet. I'm going to kill you 1-3 this turn, though. And play that. Oh, this is so annoying. Fine. You force my hand. Oh wow, looks like I actually won. Sweet. Well, thank you. Oh, you tried. Hmm. Damn. And last but not least, poke! Well, good game, Alex. Honestly, I thought I lost, but somehow it just worked out. And, uh, yeah. I'll take that win. Only the Mighty. Play 20 minutes, it costs 5 or more. Yeah, with Druid, that's going to be easy. I didn't even think of that. And I got three victories. All right. And more gold. Yay, gold! But... We mean have the Druid victory, don't we? Yeah, let's go again.
It only seems fair that I do that. Right? Right. Actually, I might already have a warrior list for Cthulhu, now that I think about it. I just didn't play it because I liked working so much. I think I already have the deck built. So I'll probably make some adjustments to it and I'll probably play it soon if I don't decide to play uh, Rogue instead. We're playing against Vorifen. I'm going to have some Gordettos. Special Italian recipe. The only Gordettos that I actually like. And yeah, we're just gonna kill that. So it looks like maybe a Beast Druid, uh, Beast Druid, Beast Druid list. I'm also gonna be drinking some Pepsi, the Drink of Champions, the best soda ever. Anyone who drinks Coke, know that you are committing blasphemy. Blasphemer. Anyway, now that I've done venting. Let's actually play this game and win. Potentially. And my phone's done charging. I always have to have my phone charging when I'm recording anyway, because it drains my battery, especially when I'm uploading and playing and doing the recording. Yeah, it takes a lot. Alright, so this guy is going to choose the game more mana crystals tactic, which is fine. And I'm just going to do three damage to him. I'd rather be able to do one damage and draw a card, but I'm just trying to be smart, that's all. I'm trying to use my removal and be aggressive, and that's just what I want. So I'm going to munch on some Gordettos. One moment. Join the pack. Uh-oh. I know this will be a druid beast thing. Oh, I got a little bit of a boost. Thank you. A sea boost, if you will. The Cthulhu boost. Yeah, Wrath is the right play. And it's absolutely the right play on him. As I get my Cthulhu boost. I used to pronounce it wrong. I used to be like, yeah, it's my Seethoon. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, no, we're just going to beat him for seven. Why would I do something that stupid? Because I have this. Now I'm going to take a sip of the Drink of Champions. One moment. Well, that's not so pleasant. Yes, attack with the one that hasn't been damaged. I was going to say. Sure, I'll take that. Get the other legendary that that gets doubled 
if you have Cthulhu at some amount of strength, probably 10 or whatever. I think 10 is usually the magic number for special abilities to happen. Oh, not bad. Just to draw a card and then pretend so you can wrath and draw another card or use hero power to finish them off. That works too. Not a bad play, in my opinion. I mean, he's low on life, which is good for me, but, you know, not going to complain, right? Probably I'm going to play that guy. Whoops. Thought I had 10 mana for some reason. <laughs> yeah, we'll draw something big. If I get Cthune, I might win, maybe. Uh, maybe not. That guy right there is saving his butt, getting multiple copies of cards. Uh oh, there it goes. Drawing more cards, dealing lots of damage, using his creatures to remove. He's playing smart, he's doing good there. Um. Unfortunately, I have to kill him the old fashioned way. It kind of sucks. Oh well. So, let's do this. We'll do three damage to either one. Probably just do the beast. Since it is a beast deck, we want to kind of lower what, what could possibly happen. And try to take as less damage as possible. Yeah. Sorry, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> She's currently on a train, so, you know, that thing. <laughs> Nourish. That's a card I haven't used in a long time. I played it. I used that card when I first played this game. So, but then I realized they were just better cards. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Cthune. Oh, will you? Yeah, yeah, okay. No, oh, that's not what I want. <laughs> okay. Well. Drop that guy. Hero power. I'll just keep poking him for now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he can get me down to seven. Hero power gets me down to six. He's pretty close to beating me this right now. I just haven't been able to draw Cthulhu, which is funny because in any other matchup. I would have Cthulhu in my opener. <laughs> oh wow, that's ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> that is the most random way to lose, but sure. <laughs> Alrighty then. I don't know what to say about that, guys, but... Um, yeah, that was just weird. Well, anyway, that was the video for today. See you guys next time.